Welcome, Bronco Nation, to my Keys to the Game versus Utah State, which is going to be a home game for Boise State this Saturday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. This season's had a lot of unknowns. At first, it looked like the season was going to be canceled, and then a surprise move, it got brought back. Uh, I think we can thank the Big Ten for that, leading the way, but Mountain West jumped on board as well, and thankfully, we have Mountain West football back, and uh, I know we're all very happy for that. So, this video is going to be a little bit rough. This is my first time doing it. Hopefully, I'll get a little bit better as we go along through the season there. We can only hope anyway. Uh, but as I was saying, this season's had a lot of unknowns. Spring football got cut short. Uh, we didn't even get to the spring scrimmage. There was uh, no, no or limited summer workouts, players working out on their own. And then there was limited fall practices. I think they've had about three, four weeks of practice now leading up to this game. So not zero practices, but definitely limited versus what they were looking at uh, in a regular season. So these three keys to the game, I'm going to mostly focus on what other teams have struggled with come from their first week coming into the season, and which I think that if Boise State, if they're not careful, can, it will end up struggling with as well, and may also end up hurting them if they're not careful with these. So starting off with the first key to the game, first key is going to be to play dim disciplined and limit penalties. Again, it's going to be play disciplined and limit penalties. One of the biggest issues for teams coming in especially the teams that were supposed to be favored in the matchups, but it kind of let some of the underdogs stay in those games and even win some of those games. Of course, Boise State is a 16-point favorite. But one of the things that might end up hurting them is if they have un unnecessary penalties. Uh, Pre-snap penalties, false starts, just the offensive line not being used to uh, the flow of the game yet, not having the practice that they needed. A lot of holding penalties, both on the offensive line and the wide receivers. These were a lot of things that we saw. The defensive penalties, um, you know, unnecessary hits, Hits, um, pass interference, just players getting by them. All of these are penalties, of course, that Boise State's going to want to avoid uh, and not follow kind of the blueprint of the teams that have gone before them in that category. Second key of the game is going to be to make tackles. I know these keys of the game sound kind of obvious, but you'd be surprised how often they get overlooked. So when one of the biggest factors from not having play, having had a full practice, full spring practice, summer workouts, and a full fall practice, one of the biggest um, takes Take, uh, negative factors in that is not being able to get real hitting practice done especially with COVID policies in place limiting certain position group uh, play I know a lot of teams have been doing that that's something that could really end up hurting Boise State so this game against Utah State may not be as big a factor. Of course, not tackling is going to hurt the team, but the next week's game against Air Force, against an option team that's already had experience this year playing against Navy, who they crushed. If Boise State can't get their tackling under control, they're going to have a very hard time beating Air Force. So this is the game for Boise State to get those pre-game, those uh, first game of the season jitters out of the way, which are even a bigger factor now with the COVID having done what it did to practices. Get those jitters out of the way, learn, get into the real flow of the game, hit people in real time, another player, another team, and really get work on those tackling fundamentals. You know, don't necessarily be going for the picks, don't be going for the strips, just wrap up, get the guy down, and live to play another snap. So that's what Boise State should be focusing on primarily. Those are the two big ones, it's going to be limiting the penalties and also making the tackles. This third one's a little bit more specific to our team. So the... Third key is going to be to take the pressure off of Bachmeyer. The last time that Hank Bachmeyer played was in the loss to Washington, uh, where he struggled. He hadn't played uh, since the injury at San Jose, uh, which, of course, we saw Chase Cord come in and then Jalen Henderson come in and play. Hank Bachmeyer got the start in the game, a decision that a lot of people questioned at the time and still do question. I don't think that it personally it did him a lot of favors. I don't think that he was 100% yet. I don't think he'd had the practice time that he needed. And I don't, and of course, Henderson was doing such an incredible job at the time and had all the momentum. I think that he should have gotten the start in that game. But that's last season. We're talking about this season. Hank Bachmeyer is undefeated except for the as starting quarterback except for the one loss against Washington which I don't think we can even chalk up to him that was just the just the team just didn't seem prepared for that one but 
the last game he played, being that Washington game and not having been 100%, taking the pressure off Bachmeyer early, letting him get into rhythm, letting him reestablish that, that incredible dominance that we saw starting in the Florida State game and continuing all the way through his injury. That incredible accuracy, the ability to throw on the run, the ability to run. Uh, of course, he needs to be careful and get down on the ground when necessary. But those are the things that will come if we give him time. He needs to really reestablish himself in the game flow. He has experience, but it's been a while since he's had a real quality start with real quality practice time before him. And I, I think we can really say his last quality start was that San Jose game where he got injured. So this is a quarterback coming off a long break with limited practice time available. He has the skills. He has the ability. He's the clear starting quarterback. There's no controversy there. But... He needs the short passing game to allow him to get into the flow of the game. Screen passes, slant passes, short out, just get him into the flow. Let him get out of his own head and get into the game. And of course, we have an established running back, a powerhouse running back in Halani who has the potential to be one of the all-time Boise State greats at the running back position. Lean on Halani. I mean, this is a Utah State team that's going to be having the same issues as Boise State or as all of the teams starting up. They're going to be having the uh, limited hitting ability uh, practice. They're going to be probably be struggling with some of those penalties. Force them, push them, get the running game involved, get the running game going early, and let Bachmeyer settle into the game. This should just be a, a, of course, this is an important game. First game of the season, Utah State. Utah State has traditionally always competed in our division of the Mountain West. But so it's an important game, but really this is a game where we need to just let the player settle into the flow of the game. So let the offensive line settle in, let the defense settle in as far as the tackling goes, and let Hank Bachmeyer settle in. So if the biggest wrap-up key would be don't try to play beyond yourself and settle into the game flow. So three keys to the game, play discipline, limited penalties, two, make, ta make the tackles, wrap up, and three, take the pressure off of Hank Bachmeyer. I think that Hank Bachmeyer, if given the time, if given the ability to get into the flow of the game, this could be a very, very special season for him coming off into his sophomore year of incredible freshman performance, which was unfortunately limited by injury. This could be a very special year, not just for him, but for our team overall. And we could have a lot looking forward to this year. But it's got to start with being disciplined up front, being disciplined at the get-go, and allowing Hank Bachmeyer to settle into the flow of the game. Thanks for listening to me. Uh, we all look forward to the Boise State game this Saturday. I'll be providing another one of these videos as far as a post-game review goes. Uh, look for that either Saturday evening or Sunday night. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to do this. And of course, if you're not a current member of the Bronco Nation's Update page, make sure that you join that page. Uh, it's a nation. It's We've got 8,000 members. We hit 8,000 over the summer. It's just a great place to connect with other Boise State fans as we cheer on our Broncos together. All right, go Big Blue.